Facebook has finally done it. Out of all of the times that I've ever logged on to the shitty fucking website, I mean, it used to be cool back in the day, don't get me wrong, back when I was like in middle school, Facebook was the shit. It was the new MySpace, but every time I go on it, I either usually see gore, some beheading video, fucking ISIS video, some video of how the world's gonna end, some dude from my town that wants to be a rapper who decides to fucking put a webcam video of him throwing up bars that just make people want to fucking jump off a cliff, or maybe you scroll past a few people taking pictures of themselves in mirror selfie format, trying to get attention, there's those kind of people, but, and then there's those pages that have those articles that just make you look at it and you're like, how the fuck can that be real? And then you click on it and it's a whole nother website and then boom, you just gave them ad revenue in their pocket. But I was scrolling through my feed on Facebook today and I saw something that definitely interested me. It interested me so much that I want to make a video about this. This is like, this is really fucking cool. So I don't know if you guys have seen the show, The Narcos, or just Narcos, about Pablo Escobar and his cocaine trafficking experience. First of all, if you haven't seen that show, I definitely recommend you go watch it. I think it's hands down one of the best shows ever put on Netflix. But he's basically this huge kingpin cocaine smuggler, and he lives the fucking life, man. He lives the life. Eventually, he ends up with this huge fucking mansion with all this money. He's making millions a day. It's just crazy. I'm not going to give too much of the TV show away from you, but he's basically a badass motherfucker. Very powerful man because of his money. So I was scrolling on Facebook... And what do I see trending? Pablo Escobar, workers find safe hidden under late Colombian drug traffickers, former Miami mansion. Now think about this. You're a construction worker, and you're hired to go dig up this legendary coke smuggler's mansion. You know, you're sitting there with a fucking backhoe, ripping up the foundation, and then you see this, this gray box, and they found one before. You know, the last safe they found, they found a kilogram of fucking cocaine. Imagine the feeling of finding one of these safes. Could you imagine what could be inside? Now, obviously, it could just be another kilogram of cocaine. That's, that'd just be a, that would just be kind of fucking lame. Obviously, that's a lot of money, but still, like, they're just gonna burn that or something or dispose of it. But what if it's, like, five million dollars, man, you know? What if it's, like, one-eyed Willie's treasure from the Goonies, you know? Like, what if it's just fucking diamond, rubies, all, all the fucking... Shazam, all the, all the snaz you could possibly imagine. Gold watches, Rolexes, anything you could imagine. What would you do if you just found that? You know, nobody was around. You just have Pablo Escobar safe. What would you do with it? And you know, I bet they're never even gonna tell us what was inside. I bet they're just gonna leave us hanging like that. What if it's just something so cool that they don't want to tell anybody? It says here it's gonna be brought into a bank. And I can almost guarantee they're just literally going to put it in some fucking bank and just leave it there forever. And I'm sure you're asking, Cody, 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 why are you so interested in this? I've always really been interested in, like, metal detecting and things of that sort. Like, just to think that you go outside, you go into the woods with a little fucking metal detector, you dig up a little something. I know, obviously, it's not just going to be randomly in the woods. It's got to be under a foundation or something like that. But I just think it's so cool that there's relics from the past, even just a little coin underneath the grounds from 50 years ago, 100 years ago. And the fact that they've never found this, this safe that was just hidden underneath his house, is just so, like, inspiring to me. It makes you want to go out and dig, doesn't it? <laughs> At least it makes me want to, but then again, I'm not going to because it's a waste of time. But just think of all the fucking buried treasure out there, dude. You know, like looking back to when you're a kid and you watch those couple movies where they dig up buried treasure on the beach and it's just so, like, cool. Like, to think that one day that you could just stumble across a box that could change your life forever. Wake up, work the 9 to 5, grab your coffee, you know, have a normal day for 40 years, and then one day, you decide to go to the beach. What do you see on the beach? You see One-Eyed Willie's treasure. You open that bitch up, and you fucking cash out. Now you're living like Pablo Escobar. You're living the lavish life. You got your own private jet with your own island. But seriously, guys, if you went to the beach and literally found a fucking treasure box, man. I'm talking rubies, diamonds, emeralds, pearls, everything you could imagine. Gold coins, gold watches, gold chains, everything. What would you do with that? I want to know in the comments down below. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, what would I do with What would X Code do with that? I'd most definitely buy a house for my father. Um, I'd buy definitely a really snazzy Porsche. I've always wanted a Porsche. Obviously, I'd have to get my fucking license first, but I'd definitely get a Porsche 
put a shitload of money in the bank, put a shitload of money into the stock market, invest some. But overall, I really wouldn't live too, like, luxurious. I would just live very, very, very comfortably. I'd have people doing things for me. I just don't feel like rolling up joints today. Chives! No, I'm just kidding, guys. Seriously, though, I'd, I'd just save, like, all of it. I wouldn't really do much with it. I'd, I'd definitely make some really fucking cool YouTube videos, though. I definitely That would be number one priority. So I also heard underneath this foundation to Pablo Escobar's house, they also found another box. What is inside that box? A fucking crate of bananas, and I'll ship one to you. For everybody who drops a like on the video, stay high, stay lifted. Peace.